Hello everybody and welcome to the 2023 Muddy Butt. A little bit of an elite upload seeing as the Chuck Compton race was this past weekend. And I didn't happen to race that one. Might have to get out a little bit more next year and race both of these. This is also the first time I ever commentated over any of these videos. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys think as I'll be doing short little bits of commentary over this very long race to kind of give insights of what I was thinking when I was going through it. I will be cutting out a decent amount, trying to show some of the harder sections of the track. I would show more, but as you can see here very quickly on the first lap, I get covered in mud and uh, the camera does as well. So, A lot of the footage you guys are going to be seeing is from Jaden's first lap and my third lap, but I will show you guys the start just because it was kind of crazy. For some reason, I'm on the pro line. Uh, me and Jaden have not been training as much as I think we should be. I should probably be probably back on the B line. I think it's probably where I belong, but uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Um, the pro class also had the most laps, so I figured it would be a little bit of a challenge signing up for it. Jaden's never really raced before, and uh, I have, but not for a long, long time. You'll see if you go back, probably one of my first videos, actually. I don't think I've raced this race since 2015. Back then, I was able to complete four laps. It does seem like after I completed this race that it seems like it's changed a little bit. It felt way longer and it felt a lot more like hard enduro like. Probably the main thing that was the problem with this race is the fact that I think me and Jaden's endurance level is just not quite where it needs to be. Uh, we have been snowmobiling like this entire season. I've probably been the most consistent I've been in a while, but not nearly as much as we needed to be for this race but without getting too into detail uh let's get going on this race and uh, we'll kind of talk as we go we got a uh, seahorn or uh, story uh, sorry if i'm totally wrong on that but he's uh doing the little chase sexton warm up here as we're about ready to go end up falling into this main line and then going right into the back of uh, number 197 here. I'm not sure on his name. But, uh, that's where the camera just gets toasted and also I think Anthony Johnson gets by me here. That's one guy I do know. But uh, yeah, this pro class is no joke. <laughs> So we're going to make kind of a transition here. Like I said, most of that entire lap was just covered by this, this horrible mud spot. I need to remember to wipe my uh, my, my freaking GoPro once in a while. But we're going to kind of go into Jaden's lap here. Is this is his Stay first up, lap. Big run. Stay up. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of trees across. I do find this to be rather funny how the, one of the first things I said was to stay up and then the first thing he did was crash right here on the first corner, but happens to all of us, we all go down and uh, he ends up getting back up and on his way. I 
kind of the interesting part about this corner is me and him both happen to go down right here in the same exact spot, both on our first lap. probably one of the first sections where line choice is very critical. I think uh, Jaden actually made it through here quite a few times with a very clean line. I think uh, every single lap except for the first lap, I think I got stuck in the center of it and it was just horrible. All these sideways trees, I swear that they're put in just to make you get, get stuck and spin out on them. It's just perfectly placed some of these sometimes. to I think one of the first checkpoints here and I got this interesting log that I swear I some of these logs are just sideways just enough to throw you and uh, it throws Jaden for a ride. And this log didn't only clean Jaden it got many people when I came around here on the first lap there was guy's bike just on top of him couldn't even get up couldn't help but notice that Jane started a little bit of a fire there on the ground the bike must be leaking a little bit of oil this hillside was tough I mean when I was going through here there was people all over the side just falling off the trail and it was not good. This hillside was complete carnage just about every single time we came up to it. There's so many different lines going up and over, kind of around the main route that I think you're supposed to take. Jaden ends up getting pointed to go up, and uh, it doesn't end up going very well. quite a few people getting stuck on it and you just can't quite get momentum on it. I believe Jane came back and told me, man, I burnt the shit out of the clutch on that thing. This hill is also very close to the very end of the lap, so you're just super tired from keeping your feet off the pegs, having to drag them the entire way up this rut, and just not an easy hill.
Jaden here at the uh, last checkpoint just before you go through this. I don't even know what you call these, but it's just a huge circle. And man, you get dizzy, I feel like. If it was much bigger than this, I would be super dizzy. I'm just, I can't go in circles like that. Doing another little transition here. For some reason, I don't have my second lap recorded at all. I'm not sure what happened there with the camera or what, but this is my third lap, and uh, yeah. As you guys can see, things started to really start to dry up. The sun started coming out. The dirt was starting to get a lot more tacky and not quite as slick as it was on my first lap, which definitely helped. But at this point, I was already so tired that my riding was just not nearly as good as it was on the first lap. Got to this section that kept getting me stuck, so I decided, all right, we're gonna go way left and try to stay way out of the rut and these guys end up giving me a little bit of a clue as to where to go but i completely don't even listen to them see that perfect line to the left end up going right towards the same hole that i keep getting stuck in because i was just so mentally exhausted at this point <laughs> What do you know? I end up getting stuck right in this whole rut right there. Tried gassing it up and over, but no luck. End up having to lift the bike up and over this thing because I just could not get over it. And, you know, bad line choices yeah. end up leading me into getting myself even more tired, and that does not help. <laughs> End up making up here to the first checkpoint. Dudes are having a good time drinking beer, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm having a good time at this point, but we're making it through. I got some more of these sideways trees. I don't know what it is that I need to do on these. I end up always just sliding around on them. I see a lot of the faster guys just rail right through them like it's nothing. But I have no faith in my front end not just completely sliding out from underneath me when I hit it. So any tips, let me know in the comments. I believe we got Coleman Johnson uh, coming up behind me. Man, these guys are just quick. He's probably on his last lap while I'm on my third, but uh, tried sticking with them for a little bit, and they're just smooth. They can uh, carry speed and momentum around these corners just so much better. Coming up to another checkpoint here just before we go back down that little sketchy hill that everybody was falling off on the first lap.
Coming up again to one of these sideways ruts that you just slide down and for some reason I just can't get over him. At this point I feel like I've lost so much aggression. My ass hurts from sitting down and just getting beat. My arms are pumped and things are just, I'm getting tired quick. My muscles are just, you know, my, my hips, everything just from holding my legs up, it was just all falling apart. I will say some of the girls uh, running some of these checkpoints were really motivating. I, <laughs> you're just so tired and just a little bit of a, you did, you're doing good or nice job. It really goes a long way sometimes. <laughs>
as much as it really started to dry out towards the middle of the day, some of these mud holes really kind of kept their mud and almost got so soupy that they would just drag you down. It was kind of a weird feeling as you were going through them. Coming up to, I believe, the last checkpoint here, just before you finish the lap. I kind of was starting to feel a little bit better. I was kind of getting my aggression back. This mud hole felt like it was getting worse and worse. Jaden actually got stuck on the previous lap pretty badly here. I'll cut to that real quick after I make it through. Unfortunately, this is where my GoPro ends up dying, and actually it's the end of the race for Jane and I. I was only able to finish three laps, Jane was able to finish two laps, but for the pro class, you gotta finish four, so we didn't even get on the board really. We're still pretty stoked on our performance overall, just because we haven't been out as much as we'd like, and haven't been racing very long either. These are just a couple of clips of in between our laps, since this was a tag team race, we did have to swap an armband back and forth. Overall, a really fun time, good experience, good challenge for both Jaden and I. Looking forward to getting back out here again next year to race this, and even trying to get out and race the Chuck Compton as well. If you guys made it this far in the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, as it really helps the channel and motivates me to keep making these videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.